Thanks, Kevin. We're just three days away from tax day. The coronavirus pandemic has led to some changes. Here to walk us through some of them is Dan Casey, investment advisor at Bridge River Advisors. Thank you so much for being here, Dan. Morning. Uh, does it feel strange to be talking about filing taxes in July? <laughs> it certainly does. All right. So tell me a little bit about some of the big changes we need to know. All right, so most people know that uh, we have it was extended to July 15th to file your taxes. What uh, wasn't really well publicized was the fact that you're also able to delay those contributions to your retirement accounts. Um, you know, you can now fund them up into July 15th, so your IRAs, Roths, whatever you want to get money into, that was postponed off as well. And how has this pandemic infect, uh, infected, excuse me, impacted tax filings this year? So what's nice is, again, more than just the, uh, the delaying of filing the taxes and getting money in, uh, really getting money out was also uh, really affected as far as um, before you were 59 and a half, if you took any money out of retirement accounts, you were hit with that penalty. Mm -hmm. So now you're able to do that. The, uh, the IRS with the CARES Act says if you were at all affected by COVID-19, you're able to pull money out of up to $100,000 from these retirement accounts penalty free if you're younger than 59 and a half. But the big thing is spreading those tax bill over uh, three years if you withdraw it from your IRAs or 401ks. But if you borrow it from your 401k, you have five years to pay it back. So they're really offering a lot of flexibility to get money out of those retirement accounts. And they kept it very broad. You were affected by COVID-19. If you were taking care of someone who was affected by COVID-19, then they just threw in at the end, if you were at all financially uh, affected by COVID-19, you're able to get this money out of those retirement accounts. And Dan, do you think that there is um, maybe some positive silver liner, uh, lining here to wait this long, wait till July to have filed? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you, you can look at, um, you know, just giving people time to maybe save up the money to get it in if they were if it was hard for them to get money in before you know april 15th now they had a little extra time to get money in those accounts so remember you can get six thousand dollars in there if, uh, per person if you're younger than 50. over 50 you've got seven thousand dollars you can put in so you can put it in you know six thousand for last year um six thousand for this year so really able to i think get a lot of money into those accounts uh, what is your advice for those who have waited this long? They got three days to go until they could file a return or an extension. Yeah, uh, rush, hurry, get it in. <laughs> um, so it's one of those things that, um, you know, you have those strict deadlines. So you, you just got to make sure that you hit those deadlines, get that money in there um, as, as good as you can because it's all tax deferred. So you want to get it in there so it stays tax deferred and grows and you don't have to pay taxes on it. You're the tax expert, and I know I'm going to be asking a question, asking you to speculate. But do you think this July 15th deadline could roll over to even next year, moving our April 15th to July 15th in 2021, depending on how this pandemic plays out? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we were really affected by the uh, because the stock market crash really added a whole new element to this, right? Because that's why for a lot of times, like, uh, retirees, the IRS says a lot of your retirement accounts, um, you have to pull, you have to start pulling money out. Now it's age 72. So in fact, this year they said, you know what, because of the market crash, uh, you do not have to take out those required minimum distributions this year. So just the fact that the stock market crash and the law changes, I just think there's, there's still lots of confusion out there. All right. Thanks so much, Dan Casey. Now, people can contact Bridge or Water Advisors if you need last-minute help. We'll have that information on our website at WXYZ.com. Dan, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We'll be right back.